Welcome to my new show, Cooking with Globic, the lockdown edition. So since we're in a full lockdown here in Saigon, Vietnam, and that restaurants and delivery services are not allowed to run, and that we're only allowed to buy our food at selected limited stores only during certain time slots, I think it's very important that we learn how to ration so that we can eat properly without running out of food in a few days. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make the bestest, tiniest sandwich in the world. Okay, maybe not the bestest, but it's a pretty good tiny sandwich. All right, let's get cooking. Let's first start with the ingredients. You're gonna need one egg, one tomato, some bacon, a little bit of lettuce, a tiny loaf of sliced bread, some salt and pepper, and finally some condiments like mayo, mustard, and or some other sauces of your choice. Now let's get cooking! So now that we have all the ingredients, the first thing that we're gonna do is boil the egg. In a saucepan or a pot, bring water to a boil, then gently add the egg and let it cook in the boiling water for about six, seven minutes. Now while the egg is cooking, let's prepare the other ingredients, starting with the tomato. Now all we need is one slice, then we have plenty of tomato left for more tiny sandwiches, so we can eat for the rest of the week. Now let's prepare the next ingredient. Now once your egg is ready, dump it in a bowl of cold water to accelerate the cooling process. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Then you need one or two small leaves of lettuce. Next step, the bacon. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The bacon. In a sizzling hot frying pan, gently place one slice of bacon and cook it to your desire. Now while all this sexiness is happening in the pan, let's peel our egg and cut one medium thick slice of this hard boiled beauty. Once your bacon is ready, remove the excess fat from the frying pan and gently place two tiny slices of bread and flip them a few times until both sides are nice and golden. Or just use a toaster like normal people. Now that all the ingredients are ready, it's assembling time! First, let's spread some mustard on one of the two slices of bread. Then, let's spread some mayo on the other slice. I'm using some whole grain Dijon mustard here, but feel free to use some mustard that's born in the USA, if that's what you prefer. Then, you can pretty much stack up the rest of the ingredients in the order that you prefer, but here's how I do it. First, I lay my slice of bacon, then my slice of tomato, then my slice of egg, sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper, my two tiny pieces of lettuce, and finally, I top it off with, of course, the second slice of bread. Place that beautiful tiny sandwich in a small plate and cut it in half for a lovely presentation. Okay, maybe don't. And voila! Now my tiny sandwich is ready. Time to make the thumbnail. Oh, whoa, ooh, oh, woohoo, ooh. Whoa, is this good? All right, that's enough. Now obviously with a tiny sandwich, you don't want to take big bites. You want to make the pleasure last. Ooh. Woo. Ah. Ha. Hum. Crunch. Ooh. Wow. Ah.
so good. Now, you can add more ingredients if you want. For example, you could add cheese, but I'm lactose intolerant. Then I said some things that were most likely clever and funny, but I forgot. Anyways, now I'm gonna keep stuffing my face one tiny bite at the time. And I'll catch you in the next one. While we're here, I would like to give a huge thanks to the amazing people supporting me on Patreon. You all rock. Crunch.